and today what are YouTube chapters and how can we use them? A couple of days ago I saw this by accident when I made this video in other words you've got the timestamps written in this format of 00, 00 colon 00, 00 and then you've got on YouTube this broken line for chapters so let's delve a little bit deeper so from the official Tom and Creator Insider channel 7th of April there was this thing in here which was 145 video chapters notice he's not put a zero he's just said 145 but what you get in Tom's video is break 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 and you can clearly see in the whole video which chapters which segments are broken up in this format so in other words if you type the timestamp followed by some text you get something looking like this that's how it looks as I understand right now it's quite new for the channels that do have it two screens on here are mobile one from Tom and Creator Insiders of how it looks on mobile in other words you can just about see the breaks in other words the chapters of the appropriate segments of that whole video here's one I'm talking about in a second or two which is a mental maths test which is one of my tests which is a private video which I will talk about so in my mental maths quiz thing what I've done is a little bit of a test like I always do on this channel and that is I've typed 150 characters as you'll see that the start of the video it says three questions and then I've just put quite honestly a load of old text here to see how much will display in other words three questions all the way through pretty much to 150 characters displays quite wide which is really interesting because that's almost like you could close caption it or quite honestly write a lot of text so let's move on the main talking thinking point I've got is chapters versus playlists. This is about a year ago from my own channel and I went out and I did some nature recorder recording, you know, the wildlife in a forest type thing. Now what I've got is one, two, three, four videos which are clearly four videos under one playlist of four and they're not very long. So I'm thinking that if I redid this that one video which comes out to be the whole lot but this time I could literally say at zero at the start it's Brokes Wood and then at number 427 it's Brokes Wood Part 2, then some rustling leaves and then Chalkney Wood which is very close. In other words, this whole thing about thinking point, is it best or more appropriate for some channels or some viewers obviously to have one video URL split into chapters? or to have a playlist and quite honestly one of my playlists has got like 68 odd videos on it I, d I don't know um, so what I'm saying is one video URL to remember split into chapters so you can pretty much carry on where you left off or you could have which I've always found quite annoying is multiple videos on playlists that I can never quite negotiate them and know exactly where I am so let's look at another use of chapters in the question and answer maybe educational format which is a case study mental math so if I press control 2 there we go that's fair enough um, let's go to full screen to finish this off so what I've done a couple of days ago just on a test is I thought okay if I wanted to set as, as a teacher or whatever a question and answer scenario that doesn't give away the answers let me just show you what I mean as if this was one video it's not very long so we'll just talk it through so here is a mental maths thing which you know as a school teacher you know you do all the time what is five by six and then you can write that down Good, it's quick, isn't it? Two times by six, add seven. Right, what's the answer? Don't know yet. Question three is a shopkeeper sells three apples at 20p and a banana. See, that was pretty quick stuff. Then it goes on. I'm just going to pause it there. Now, when I pause it, what I can see clearly is that I've got the introduction, questions one, two, and three. And then it goes on to do with the answers of one, two, and three without giving them away. So very good if you don't need to listen um, to anything, but you can just look. So in other words, if I use the scrub bar, very much mental maths, can you see the way this bar now is actually split very much where we don't even have to play the video. All we need to do is just hover the mouse and it tells us so what is five pi six? Okay, write that one down. What is, um, I know I've done this with a, with a a text thing uh, that moves around on screen a lot it could be just static two times by six plus seven so 16 had seven right got the answer for that one in my head shopkeeper sells three apples at 20p banana at 30p what's the total 
then it goes on to the answers. Now, what I've tried to do is to mark yourself by trust is say, go on and let's play some answers now. So the answers are, let's have a look. Question one would have been 30. Oh, sorry about that. That's my fault. So answers there. Now I can hover and because of the chapters, I can still hover and see what some of those answers are. Let me just pause that, go in and I've got the last one and this is a work in progress in terms of YouTube experiment to see what actually happens and also um, about myself with my channel that has it but hey it's a talking point it's a brand new thing so that was chapters from YouTube and I believe as normal which it must be by definition is me Mike Downs see you in the next video